do is supposed to take place in our lives. All we know at one point is that God said, I'm doing a move. But what is the application? What is the application? See, you are no reason to come into the new because you got to fight through everything.
glad you asked, because I got to ask. They broke through religion. Well, come on. They broke through hurt. They broke through blank pain to a place where Christ has been revealed, which now they will be called breakthrough believers. Come on. They're not up here saying, I need a breakthrough, because in their private place, they got no breakthrough. They broke through because of who he has been revealed in them for such a time as this. It is those people that will arise and prevail over the enemies of God. Somebody say the purpose of the church. The purpose of the church. Is that we would prevail over the enemies of God. Church is being redefined in what it used to be. And God is raising up such, listen, this is out that the mature is coming for. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Breakthrough believers, they are the ones that will rise above, somebody say above. 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 Rise above sin. Rise above sin. Rise above sickness. Rise above disease. And rise above where? Demonic forces. Mm -hmm. Oh, the earth is growing. Yes. You can't be a son of God if you ain't rose above sin. Amen. Sons of God carry the nature and the character of God. And if you and I are sons of God, we carry the nature and the character, we rise up above sin. We rise up above sickness, disease, above demonic forces. Those are not the things that stop us from carrying out God's will in the earth. That's why I say sons of God. Sons, sons of God. God. Break the believers. Break the believers. Those are the ones that will be given the right to possess the keys to the kingdom of God. Come on. You think God put keys to the kingdom? in immature people's hands? Nope. No. Would you put a key in someone's hand who didn't know how to drive? No. Would you trust these little kids right here with the keys to your car to go to the store for you? No. no. Why? Because they're not mature enough. No. And over time, oh God, over time, what has happened is that we try to put keys in people's hands who weren't mature enough to handle it, so sins overtook them, demonic forces overtook them, sickness, disease, and they didn't know how to rise up above them because, glory to God, they were not mature sons of God. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Oh, it, it, it costs something, and it takes something to operate in the place of a son of God. Now, I, now everybody says, well, I know I'm a son of God. It's a difference from knowing and operating. Amen. Yeah. 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 No, I said it's a difference from knowing and operating. Yeah. Amen. See, when you know and you operate as a son of God, there's fruit behind what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I said there's fruit behind what you do. Amen. Glory to God. So in this hour, God is giving the keys. Amen. To those who are mature sons of God. Can I define mature for y'all? Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. Mature means fully de developed. In other words, I've allowed Christ to be developed inside of me. In other words, it's a place of coming to a place of being fully grown. Someone who behaves appropriately and doesn't throw temper tantrum if they don't give their way. Oh, y'all are ready for that one. And you can't, God can't give keys to possess the kingdom of God if, amen, you won't throw a temper tantrum when something don't go your way.
of the manhood of Christ. Can I please say it? Can, can I please say it again? Because the church have been treating, amen, Christ, amen, as he was just a provider. As he was just a healer. As he was just a way maker. But the church has never, amen, come into his place at such a time as this of his maturity of the manhood of Christ. So the church is now looking at Christ from a place of his, his manhood. Well, oh, that's for the mature. The manhood of Christ. So that she, the Bible calls the church a she. Yes, yes, amen. Come on. So that she, the church, can operate differently from past generations. Yes. And where we are now is that we as the people would operate differently because we now reference the manhood of Christ and not just the healer, not just the provider, amen, not just the deliverer, but the manhood. And it causes us, amen, to see differently, to operate differently, so now he can give us keys that we never had to, amen, possess the keys to the kingdom of God.
I'm almost done with this. So as key possessors in this hour, we've been, somebody say identify. Identify. As sons of God. As sons of God. We've been identified as sons of God. So what has happened, listen, we're trying. Most people spend their time trying to align themselves with heaven. Oh, I'm going to right here. But when you start operating from the place of a son of God, heaven aligns itself with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Because your identity is no longer a man of yourself. But my identity is from a place of a son of God. And God recognizes that I'm a son of God. So heaven, glory God, aligns itself with my movement. Yeah. You're not talking to me. I said heaven aligns itself with my movement and then heaven acts accordingly. If my movement is this way, heaven says I'm aligned this way. And then everybody acts accordingly. And a lot of times what we don't understand is that we're praying, God align me with heaven like you done done something wrong. I ain't done nothing wrong. I haven't did anything. God said you got to get a different perspective because now heaven, amen, is trying to align itself with the movement that he's called you to because now you recognize that your movement is in the earth. It's from the place of the sun of God. Yeah. 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 
Right now.
We're not waiting for God to be in there. He's already in there. And you and I have to rise up as a breakthrough believers. Breakthrough believers. Um, who are they? What do they do? They what? What have they overcome what? Talk to them. They overcome what? Sin. What else have they overcome? Flesh. What else? Sickness? Disease? What else? Demonic? Demonic forces. That's what is happening. They're not suffered by. Don't easily give in to them. They rise up above them. And in this hour, you and I have to do what? Rise up above them. It's time for the body of Christ. Yeah. It's time for the people of God. You know why we haven't been able to see signs, wonders, and miracles? Because we have not been operating in our true sonship, our revelation. We have not been we have not been truly operating in our identity as sons of God. And we're asking God for signs, wonders, and miracles. Every now and then we got we get a glimpse of a miracle. Or every now and then, we get, amen, a glimpse of a wonder. But see, when you and I know our authority and our mandates as a son of God, you know that's a lifestyle. Amen. Amen. Like, send me to the hospital. Send me to the graveyard. Come on. Send me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Send me. Because I'm not operating in myself. I'm operating in my God. Inside of me, and when the power of God works inside of me, it. Comes 
causes me to rise up, to rise up over demonic forces that try, glory to God, to attack itself, that try, amen, to bombard the Lord, amen, to cause people to operate from an erroneous place, from erroneous teaching, erroneous thinking, amen. So as a son of God, I take my rightful place and say, Father, send me out the hole and don't nobody else want to know. Glory to God, that you're not in fear 
Spirit from flesh, spirit from flesh, come on, come on, I'm not sick, I'm not. 
the church is being birthed from a whole different place. And the purpose of the church is being redefined. All of this to bring the church 